Good morning and welcome back with a new adventure. We are right now live from Koh Tao, Thailand and watch this. We are going to Hue Point and it's already amazing. So blue. So blue palm trees that are going. Good morning people and welcome as a day in the life as a backpacker. It is 5 a.m. right now. I'm gonna put my cap up because, because the wind is gonna blow away. We are in the back of the pickup truck because of doggy dudes. And we are on our way to go down. Finally, after one full day of traveling. Once we were on the ferry from Suratani to Kota, we could finally have some time to relax because the day before we were traveling from India. Delhi to Thailand, Bangkok, and we went straight on to Suratani, which was taking us more than 18 hours to get there, uh, just in one day. So we were really happy when uh, when we arrived in Koh Tao. Also something that was well organized in Thailand, there are so many expats with pets that you can just buy a ticket for your dog and nobody looks surprised when you show up with a dog for the ferry, which was really good. On our first day in Koh Tao, we went to the John Sawan viewpoint and this has to be one of the most iconic spots that Thailand has to offer. If you decide to go to the viewpoint, one piece of advice, make sure not to wear your flip flops and take shoes because it's a 30 minute hike if I can say it like that and there are a lot of rocks that you have to climb over it. It is really really worth it because it's one of the most iconic spots of Thailand that we have seen in a long time. Um, also, the thing why this may be the best spot to visit in Koh Tao is, is laying between Freedom Beach and Shark Bay. So when you're done with the viewpoint, you can just go over there to have a relaxing swim and uh, enjoy the sun. So we are now live from Koh Tao. We are on our way to Shark Bay. Um, as you can imagine, there are sharks over there, like the black tip shark as they call it, and turtles. It's already 4 p.m. So we are just going for one hour snorkeling. I hope that we see some turtles, because since we are beginning this journey, we are having a little curse on ourselves that everywhere we go snorkeling that we cannot find any turtles. So I hope that today we are going to break the curse. Um, and in the next clip I'm gonna show you all the things that we see in the other wildlife. But guys look at this, how beautiful is Koh Tao. The beach that we are going to snorkel around is Freedom Beach. It is well known for the turtles and all the underwater life. And if we still got some time today, um, we will be going to the sunset point. Sunset viewing point is all the way on top of the island. Oh wow, yeah, guys, watch this. I'm not talking about the Nick every time, but watch how beautiful Koh Tao is. For us, it has been a bit of a culture shock and I'm still adjusting to it. Um, two days ago, we were still in India with the busy streets, the crowd um, and all the hectic. And right now we are on paradise on earth. It feels a lot like the Philippines, only with better internet and food. Yeah, so as I was talking about, we are um, going here for a swim for a little bit less than an hour because after that we want to go to the sunset viewing point to see the sunset from a really high point. Um, and we want to take Sarah of course with us, but we gotta be there before the sun sets. We're hoping how it is, but oh, this is just amazing. Um, and Anik doesn't know it yet, but she's also going to fly the drone. Oh. So within a couple minutes, you will see it from above. How cool is that? We are now live from Luak Bay, and this has to be one of the best beach in Koh Tao so far. Why is that? The main reason is because there are not a lot of people out here. 
and this is the main bay uh, where you can find sharks in the water. Yesterday we spotted a little black tip shark and I hope today we'll see some more. While you're still watching us, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment, we really appreciate it.